stupid story. So, <laughs> um, again, as a kid, I was super cool. Um, I don't know how I came across this, but somehow I got hold of a little pocket knife. I don't know how. So I decided, <laughs> you know what? Our grandpa probably gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, grandpa was smart. You want to get my idiotic butt uh, a pocket knife? Maybe an orange peeler. Orange peeler. Mm. Um. Anyway, uh, so I decided, you know what? I'm cool. I, I want to recreate some of these cool action movie scenes that I see. So <laughs> looking around a little bit, like, all right, I think I'm going to do like a, a fight. A good old fight with the, a knife. All right, so I'm looking around and looking around my mother's beautiful living room with the white walls, white carpet, and her beautiful white couch. <laughs> so I decide, you know what? Fight can't be complete without some blood. <laughs> well, I don't want to cut myself. I got a whole thing of ketchup in the fridge. <laughs> so I'll go in the fridge, get my ketchup. Uh, sit on the nice white couch because, no, you know. Bob, bear in mind, I, I always remember this as you were um, doing a professional wrestling match. Mm-mm. I didn't remember this as an action movie, but you didn't want to get your clothes dirty. Oh! All this ketchup. Yes, because that would have been awful. I don't want to get my clothes dirty. <laughs> so, did I take, was I just my underwear or did I just take my shirt off? You were just, you were in your underwear. Yes. <laughs> my whitey tighties, perfect. So, sitting on mom's nice white couch, and I decide, you know what? I'm ready for this. Put myself in the ketchup. <laughs> oh, I got stabbed. Oh, I got stabbed. I have just the best, <laughs> just the best movie scene. Just chaos everywhere on that couch. <laughs> When I get done, I'm like, oh man, ketchup everywhere. <laughs> I gotta clean this up. So I go in, walking, looking around the kitchen, and oh, there's some paper towel. You know what? I think I gotta go sit back on that couch and clean myself up. <laughs> so back on that couch, sit down on that couch, grab those beautiful paper towel, just start wiping all that ketchup up, just clobbing all over the floor, everywhere. So now I got a problem. I'm sitting on this nice, beautiful white couch, and my hands are full of ketchup filled paper towels. What am I going to do with them? Oh, right across the room, there's a, a garbage can right next to the nice white wall. I could make that. Bear in mind, a little tiny waste paper basket, you know. <laughs> I can make that. So I proceed. It's probably a good. 10 foot throw. <laughs> so I take the nice white, gross ketchup soaked paper towels and I plah, throw them across and plah, right on the wall that soaks down. <laughs> and I did that probably 25 times. By the time I got done, it looked like a murder scene everywhere. <laughs> ketchup everywhere, all over the walls, all over the couch, all over the carpet. I don't even know what I told mom. <laughs> I probably said I dropped some ketchup and like, fell on a rock and ripped my pants. So I don't know. You know, the, <laughs> it's funny. I don't remember what happened either. I no, just I don't. Remember, I remember what happened. I don't remember what happened well, when she got home. See, the mind works really mysteriously <laughs> of blocking out trauma. I think she was... <laughs> I think I could just tell she was so disappointed in me that I blocked that out of my mind. Because, Funny. yeah, I, I never wanted to see that look in my mother's eye again. I'm sure that's what happened. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's funny, well, thinking back, how stupid is that? Why would I even think that would be a good idea? Hey. Next time you see her again, you should bring a ketchup bottle. I'll ask her if she wants some. <laughs> 